Tidbit Tuesday, I'm actually going to kind of step out of the norm and do some shop updating. Uh, taking care of tidbits around the shop and uh, moving my actual tidbit pile and making a more permanent home for it so it allows me a larger footprint in my uh, workspace so that way I can actually pump out better content without having to uh, trip over myself and then edit that out and sometimes leave it in. <laughs> uh, in today's video we're going to go through and uh, take care of a few things that have just been uh, knocking around that I've been putting on the back burner and I finally need to take care of. I ended up actually getting a new air hose and a few other things that you'll see so hopefully you enjoy this next little bit of uh, Tidbit Tuesday with the Double Bits Workshop. Thank you very much and enjoy. These are my boots. They're a uh, Keen brand. They held up pretty good but you can see here the little lace holders have just snapped. Ended up actually going through and each one of them had this little hang off bit here originally looped around as you can see on this one it's just barely holding on so I nipped off this little piece and I'm gonna go through and I actually have a rivet kit or grommet and pliers that I got from good old Harbor Freight so I'm gonna go through punch a little hole here hold out my leather working kit Punch a hole and grommet it up, lace it back through. So, just little tidyings up as we're all taking a little time to stay at home and take care of the home front. I'm going through and fixing up little projects. I've put this off for quite some time. I've been needing to do this, but no time like the present. done it turned out pretty good should definitely hold up for quite a while now at least quite a while longer and uh, we'll be able to fully maximize and get the life out of these guys hopefully they're definitely not the best for wear but should last me a while longer so on to the next task at hand all right so for the next segment i'm going to hang up my new air hose i ended up actually bursting my other air hose sadly it touched my heater and i was borrowing my buddies for a while you'll you've seen it in a few of the other films it was the yellow hose versus the orange hose that was coiled up so now i'm going to a nice more durable one this is from harbor freight it's the diablo brand and it is got a nice little weave through the inside of it so hopefully it'll be a little more heavy duty i didn't go absolutely all out but this is just going to be some nice interior light use and uh, some exterior as you saw in one of the prior videos with me doing my wood storage so hopefully this one works out pretty good it's got nice little uh well what would you call that like more heavy duty kind of little uh, ends here so we'll see how it works i'm gonna put it up on the wall and i think i'm gonna put my air compressor up on the top so let's take a look at that <laughs> And there you have it. So I went through and I got my air compressor just on top of the shelf. I'm going to probably eventually build a little enclosure for it and have just the air hose come out. Currently it's going back through a little hole that I have as you can see with some other cords going down. I have a screw up there with the cord wrapped around it and just kind of dangling. Uh, that air compressor pretty much kicks on as soon as you plug it in. The switch died in it so it's just hardwired so kind of on and off switch you could say is the power cord 
which is just sitting right about here. So I can now then take that and just plug it in whenever I need to. And I've got a nice little cord spool. Uh, so for the time being, this is the current setup. Eventually what I might do is I'm thinking in the rafters, I'm going to hook in one of those uh, retractable air hose setups. And I think I'm going to keep this little guy in here because all my projects with the brad nail and everything work great. I'm not doing anything with like uh, air sprayers or anything like that that I would need to have a setup for pneumatically um, painting anything. A lot of the stuff I use I either brush on or I spray on with a shaker can. So for current projects, there's no need for my other air compressor, which I keep in my garage, which would have the ability to do all of that. So this is going to be my current solution for anything pneumatic or air driven to be used in the shop. So that line setup and everything right now might be subject to change, but hopefully it'll work out good for me. So now there she is readily available and I'm not keeping it under tow or around my heater or anything like that. So. Hopefully this will keep me from having anything kind of get burnt or melted or damaged, cut, snapped, or anything like that. Hopefully. And now it's time to go through and finally get a hole fix. That is the last technical interior hole uh, for the shop. It is the eyesore of the shop currently for me. So we're going to go through and get that plugged up. Effectively, I took all of my tidbits from over here. Yeah, now you can actually see there's a joiner there for a change. That is going to be a future video to come. I have actually not been able to play with this yet. I was kind of leaving myself the goal that if I was able to get enough tidbits away from it, there's a little bit head and under there. We're not going to talk about that. It's all stashed everywhere. And I mean, everywhere along with other projects such as this chair is a future project my uh, wife had it in her office for a while that's going to be a side project but uh yeah now i've got the shopsmith is starting to uh show that it is there a little bit more and more and yeah that is one extra footprint removed so now i have all sorts of kind of space because my uh, stack used to come out to here. So you can see effectively added two to three feet depending on where it is in the shop. And I can start working away at that. I can start working away at that stack. I got all this wood and then I got, well, 10 more pallets outside as well if I want to. That's all sealed up. Going over here, got the air hose hooked up with the air compressor. It's uh, it's uh, little tidbits here and there and everywhere. And that new little stand up there. The red paint's kind of uh, crackling in some areas, so it doesn't look the most amazing, but it kind of matches the motif. <laughs> Everything is scrap in one way or another, but all of it still has purpose and use. And it's uh, good and strong without any issues. I'd probably be able to lift myself up on that pretty easily and feel pretty comfortable as long as I had my hands on two of them. That one, probably, but it's just not holding that much weight in comparison to the main primary shelf, of course. So, yeah, extra little bits all around, and 
continuing some trends to continue in grossing myself and getting this shop underway to being better and better each and every day. Alrighty, so that was just a few little snippets around the shop. Hopefully you enjoyed it. It's uh, coming along. This is more of a progressive tidbit when, or tidbit Tuesday. And it is little tidbits here and there. And ultimately I did still work with tidbits, but not quite making a project exactly. But I'm moving things around, kind of progressing the shop a little bit. So if you enjoyed today's tidbit Tuesday, even though it was kind of a, an odd smattering of things and a little bit of a waffling, to use someone else's term a bit there. If you like today's video, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you wouldn't mind, it helps me out greatly. Hit that notification bell as well as you're at it, so that way you can get notifications every time that I upload, and as things kind of progress in the shop, or if I make any kind of postings or anything to the page. So thank you very much again. Hopefully you enjoyed, and have yourself a good one. Mm -hmm.